Good evening, all. Welcome and greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Twelve months ago, on a night similar uh, to this one, people everywhere in churches and homes and other places gathered together to celebrate the coming of a new year. With careful evaluation of the old and all of its successes, its failures, and all of it, uh, their shortcomings. With a determination and a purpose of heart uh, to do better in the new year. In doing so, we've all taken for granted the, that the present coming year would be the same as all of the other years that we have done the same thing traditionally. As a custom, once more, we make plans for the new year to correct the things that somehow did not work out in our lives as was planned in the previous year. And in doing these things, we all do it with a disregard for God, he who knows and holds the future, and he who enable us to accomplish those goals, those objectives uh, that are glorifying to his name. So we have learned this year, however, from the almost the very beginning, uh, that we cannot take life for granted because life can change suddenly. And for us here in America and the entire world, that did happen. Life did change. Things are no longer the same. This year was quite different from every other year that we have experienced in our lifetime. We have, uh, we, we have faced a, a, a situation for which we haven't really, really had the answer. And although there seemed to be hope right now uh, with uh, a, a vaccine and other uh, advances in uh, medical uh, technology, are still people everywhere are dying still the disease is spreading and it, it seems like it cannot be contained and with this experience uh, with this time of uh, devastation of chaos of uh, uh, of death in the air and the fear upon the hearts of uh, people throughout the world uh, still, we put our trust in our scientists, we put our trust in our medical experts, we put our trust in our own ability uh, to, uh, to solve a problem uh, that seems unsolvable. And with disregards to God, our Creator, whom I believe is trying to get our attention. Uh, this is uh, not uh, opposed, or this trend of thought is not opposed uh, to what we have read in biblical history. Every time that uh, the nations of the earth got, got so far away from God and become so evil, God always send judgment. And I think in this present time, uh, the, the, not only our nation, but the nations of the world have turned from God in a way that they hadn't before. In that now we look at evil and we call it good. We make laws uh, to promote uh, evil behavior. And to us, it's the new norm. Uh, people are no longer uh, 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 reverent in their behavior and in their approach to God, even among believers, the standard has fallen. 
uh, a, a, a value system we have adjusted to suit the changes in the culture. And as a result, uh, the favor of God and the blessings of God have in part been lifted uh, from the nation. That, that, uh, that, that hedge that God had about this nation, uh, the, the, the restraint, the divine restraint that he had uh, uh, implemented uh, for our good has been partially lifted. And this evil has been brought to bear upon us as a nation and upon the entire world. And this is due to the fact that we no longer honor God as God. We no longer acknowledge him for who he is. And therefore is this evil brought upon us. My advice to this nation, my advice to all of our leaders, is to once more acknowledge God in all of our ways. Uh, this he has uh, advised us to do in his word, in the book of Proverbs chapter 3, I believe it is. It said that in all of our ways, or rather we should trust in the Lord with all of our hearts and not lean onto our own understanding, but in all of our ways acknowledge him and he will direct uh, our steps. We pretty much do things on our own in total disregard to the sovereignty of Almighty God. And as a result, we are paying a price today uh, that, uh, that is, has devastated this nation and the world. It is time for us once more to get back to the place where we were, at the place that our forefathers had, uh, had by their example uh, uh, prepared for us a place where God was honored. God was sought in everything that we do. It is time for us to recognize that we cannot do it on our own. We cannot uh, 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 eliminate the, the, the evil. We cannot eliminate the drugs. We cannot eliminate the crime and all of the evil that are brought to bear upon this nation in our own strength, our own ability. We need the help of Almighty God, our Creator. And it is available to us, if only that we will ask. The Bible said that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any uh, people. And we have uh, sinned against God. We have redefined a uh, marriage and the family. Uh, we now call a uh, 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 good evil and evil good. Uh, we, 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 uh, we hate uh, the righteous. We hate those who are godly. And we promote those who are ungodly. And no longer is there that fear of God in the nation or in the world for the most part. Even within uh, the, 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 the realm of uh, believers, uh, of the church, we find that there is a drifting, there is an adjustment uh, made in our belief, in our values, in order to accommodate uh, the changes within our culture. And certainly God is not pleased. And uh, therefore is this evil allowed uh, uh, in our nation and in the world. But there is hope, for the Bible declares that if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and will seek my face, and will turn from their wicked ways, he said, I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins, and I will heal uh, their land. God is not a man that he should lie. He means what he says. He says what he means. And we will find that if we will take him up on this promise that we will find that there will be divine intervention on our behalf. There was a city called Nineveh in the Bible, an evil city uh, that God determined within his heart that he was going to destroy that city because of their evil. And he sent a prophet by the name of Jonah to that city to warn them that in 40 days, God will destroy the city. 
because evil had grown uh, to an extent that God could no longer uh, tolerate. And uh, therefore, when Jonah finally took the message to Nineveh, the Bible tells us that the king called a fast, and the people, the entire city, repented of their sin. They went down in sackcloth and ashes and cried out to God uh, for, uh, you know, for forgiveness. And the Bible said that God withheld the evil that he intended uh, to bring upon that nation. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he is no respecter of persons. And if we would repent, if we will turn to him and ask his forgiveness and start walking uprightly, start doing those things that are in harmony with his laws, we will find that he will intervene on our behalf and he will lift away uh, this uh, dreadful uh, evil, this disease that has devastated this nation and the nations of the world. It is time for uh, America to turn back to God. It is time for the churches in America and in uh, the world to return to the old path, the path of righteousness, the path uh, where we exalt the, 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 the name of Jesus Christ, the path where we walk uprightly before God once more and do the things that are pleasing to him. Uh, God is loving. God is kind. God is compassionate. God is forgiving. And we will find that uh, his intervention on our behalf will be quick, it would be speedy, because he is a God of love and a God of compassion. We can no longer go the way that we have been going. It is time for a change, a drastic change. If we would once more have the blessing and favor of God upon this nation, People from everywhere come to America. They come to America because America has been a blessed country because of our forefathers. Our laws have been established upon uh, those uh, uh, um, uh, scriptures taken you know, from the Bible. And as a result, it, 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 it mirrors our laws, the laws of the land mirrors that of the scriptures. And therefore, we have been blessed as a nation. And therefore, we attract people from all around the world. They want to come to America. They want to enjoy the blessings of America. But we find that a lot of them who come here, they bring their tradition, they bring uh, their religious uh, beliefs that are contrary to Scripture. And, and instead of us standing up for what we believe, we seem to give way uh, to the new teachings and the new belief uh, brought in, uh, into America. And uh, we sort of uh, go away uh, from the traditional belief in the Word of God, the Bible, and the living and walking uprightly before Him. This is displeasing to God, and therefore His favor has been lifted. They come for the blessings, but they ignore or disregard the God who brings the or gives the blessing to America. It is time that there be a change in this nation. There is a time. It is time that there be a change in the world. And once more, we acknowledge and recognize God for who He is. He will no longer tolerate evil. He is loving. He is merciful. He is forgiving, but he's also a God of justice, a God of judgment. And we have seen this throughout the scripture. When Israel walked in accordance with his laws, they were blessed. They received his divine favor. But when they sinned, quickly there was judgment upon the nation. And we can take example from that and adjust our lifestyle adjust our belief, adjust uh, the, 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 uh, uh, all of the, the things that we do that are displeasing to him, that are contrary to his word. And we will find instead uh, all the evil that's been brought to bear upon this nation, 
will be lifted because he is still a God of mercy. My prayer and my heart's desire is that as a nation, we will go back to the old way, the ways of our forefathers. We are once more reverence and honor God. The Bible said that God honor those who honor him. If only we will recognize him for who he is once more and honor him as God and recognize his sovereignty over the universe, we'll find that a lot of the mishap, a lot of the evil that we are experiencing today would be lifted away. I want to pray now for us all. Our Father and our God, like Nehemiah of old, I come to you on behalf of of this nation. We have sinned against you. We have th turned from your ways. We have not acknowledged you as God. We have not been grateful to you for all of the blessings and favor that you have bestowed upon this nation and upon uh, uh, our lives individually and collectively. Lord God, this ingratitude, dear Father, have led us, O oh Lord God, to do things, dear Father, that are contrary to your word. We have, dear Father, legis legislate laws in this land that are contrary to your laws. We have redefined marriage and the family. Lord God, we have added other agendas to the two that you have created. We've called good evil and evil good lord we know that did no longer delight in your laws but we delight in having our own ways we have gone astray from the path of righteousness as a nation lord god and i pray today dear father for your forgiveness i pray for your mercy upon america lord god i pray in the name of jesus christ our lord that you will turn america back to you Turn the hearts, dear Father, of every citizen, every resident of this nation uh, to you, to honor you once more, to be reverent, to be devoted to you, O oh Lord God, and to recognize you for who you are, uh, the God who has blessed America, who lifted America up out of the dust and made a mighty nation out of her and has blessed her, O oh God, with blessings, dear Father, uh, that cannot be compared oh God even as we look back in history there hasn't been a nation there father that's blessed with the riches and the, and the power and the prestige as is America today uh, but dear father we have turned dear Lord God and we have worshipped dear father oh God we have worshipped dear father the things that you have blessed us with we've worshipped our riches our power our prestige oh Lord God and we have no not recognize dear Lord God that all of the good things that we have received came from down from heaven turn our hearts once more to you oh Lord God bring us to that place where we recognize dear father our evil oh God we will recognize dear father our failures dear Lord God we will once more recognize all of our shortcomings dear father and that we will repent as a nation and turn back to you turn our hearts to you incline our hearts after your righteousness be merciful lord god upon our leaders turn their hearts to thee O oh god turn their hearts from the evil their father lord god uh, that they have uh, been following O oh god the evil their lord god in which they uh, are involved O oh god either to promote or to allow or to legislate their father in the land have mercy today, O oh God, and turn us back to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, I pray. And as we turn, O oh God, lift away this, this uh, disease, dear Father, this virus that has de de devastated our nation and the world, O oh God. And many homes, dear Father, have experienced, dear Father, O oh God, the, 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 the 
the demise of loved ones, dear Father, and the dying, dear Lord God, of, of, of many, dear Father, young and old throughout this nation. Have mercy, O God, and lift away this evil, I beseech thee, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen.